What's happening guys, it's Ken Sr. It is August 26, 2022. 31 years ago on this night was, a, was the last time I took my last drink or did any drugs. And I wanted to share that with you because it's really been the cornerstone of everything good I've created in my life. And I wanna share that with you so that maybe it'll inspire you to maybe choose another one. There, there, was, a, there was a motorcycle club called the Fifth Chapter that I was a 1% club that I, that I was a full patch brother with in 1991 after I quit drinking. Um, and the, the actual name, uh, the, uh, the fifth chapter, our, our chapter was called Another Path on the bottom. And that's what I chose, I chose another path. Every decision you make in life has consequences. If you decide to drink and party and do drugs, well, there's gonna be consequences. And if you take it to an extreme, there, there are gonna be severe consequences, uh, including up to jail death in institutions and that's based on what I've seen happen to my friends and my family um, sadly uh, you know I believe we can learn from people success leaves clues and failure le failure leads cl leaves clues and sometimes our best teachers are the people who are doing things wrong my dad drank himself to death he was an awesome father he was my best friend we rode bikes together but he died at 59 years old due to the alcohol and my cousin overdosed on heroin and cocaine in his 20s the day after my dad died so um i learned from them don't go down that path and i also learned from a lot of really successful people how to live a good life and i learned to find what my gifts are and share them with the world my, my passion and love for motorcycles runs deep i mean that can't be faked i mean my, my obsession and, and uh uh dedication to this industry is is it's it's my lifeblood. I live, sleep, breathe, eat, and dream motorcycles. That's what I do, pretty much 24/7. All my vacations are about motorcycle events like Daytona, Laconia, Sturgis, Americade, uh, Mid Ohio, the Southwick Nationals. Uh, I just bought this this Kenworth semi right here, and I got a 53 foot stacker. We're gonna start a race team. Uh, Taylor's been negotiating with some of the the big um, big wigs in the industry to get some some team sponsorship and. Junior is uh, doing a kick-ass job with the Gas Gas franchise. So much good has happened in the last 30 years. It's just unbelievable. And I couldn't imagine clouding my life or clouding my vision with alcohol or drugs. I just, I couldn't imagine polluting my body. And uh, I thank God every day for all the blessings I've gotten. And whenever I'm unhappy and it happens, life happens sometimes. Sometimes, you know, things get in the way of your happiness and, and you get stressed out. But if you make a list of the things you have to be grateful for, anytime you get down and you're bummed out, make a list of the things you have to gr be grateful for, write it down and focus on the positive stuff. Cause focusing on the negative stuff isn't gonna help. It's kind of like when you're, when, you're, when you're racing motorcycles, when you're flying down the front straightaway, if you stare at the fence too much, you might hit it, hit at it. Focus on where you wanna go, not where you are. Set your goals set big goals everything you see around here this 52 acre estate that i live on the massive stone and concrete entry this this concrete entry that there has more concrete in it than the foundation of my house it took me like three years to do that the driveway here there's 40,000 square foot of interlocking concrete pavers when i when i did when my goal was to set up a driveway that you could drive around in second gear in a tractor trailer and the first thing i did when i got the first semi the the, uh, the volvo which i have out back here was i zoomed around the house in third or fourth gear and i was like it's perfect i had a, I had a landscape architect lay this whole thing out so it would work but you see with goals with goals we create the future in advance uh, we are us humans we are creation creatures we've been blessed i believe god's in, in all of us in the power to create or destroy is in all of us and if you if you set your mind on positive things well then good things are going to happen if you focus on negative things well there you go negative things are going to happen right sammy that's what sammy says so it's been a crazy week we had a lightning strike that our our router was down for uh let's see i think it was like a day and a half we had no internet and then we lost power because the tree fell down. And <laughs> I came home and the power was out at home. It just got restored. But you can't focus on the negative stuff. You gotta focus on the positive stuff. One of the first things I did when I quit drinking and partying, I used to call it partying. I thought it was, you know, 
Um, the company psychologist, I worked for a big company. I was a top salesman in a asset recovery company selling uh, mid-range computer systems off, off lease. He's like, I told him, I was honest with him because I would like miss work a lot and I would, I would be honest with him and tell him what I was doing, you know, how much I was uh, partying. And he goes, well, you're drinking, you're drinking alcoholically. And I was like, nah, you're, you're, you're just a, you're a party pooper. We're, we're partying, you know? So I didn't think, I thought it was normal to drink and, and uh, party as much as I did. So as soon as I quit drinking and partying, I was able to focus on positive stuff. And um, I started the computer company like two months after I quit drinking. And in 1990, uh, about a year before I quit partying, I bought this Mustang Saline GT ragtop right here with the money I had made as being the top salesman. And I, I smashed it up, Not nothing major, just a fender bender, but I came into work the next day and uh, my mentor counselor there was like, hey, you smashed your car up, don't you think enough is enough? And that was the last time I drank. I, kindly saw, I finally saw the light and I fixed the car up and I've had the car for, well, 32 years now. And um, it's basically a symbol of uh, what my past life was and, and what my new life is. So this semi right here, this Kenworth, I drove it 4,300 miles from Alaska three weeks ago. Trip of a lifetime. I haven't even washed it since I got back. We're going to paint it. I want to paint it probably uh, a metallic red because we're going to probably go with the gas gas uh, theme on the semi. Gas gas and a couple other major sponsors. And... Uh, it's gonna be awesome. So, I love this place, man. The, the um, first time I set foot on this property at Y2K, which was 22 years ago, none of this existed. The driveway, the, the house, the, the um, pond. I actually draw, drew it all on a piece of paper and, and, and set it as a goal in life. And that's what I'm talking about, like being creation creatures when we, when we have a positive goal in mind and we use our energy our god-given talents for positive things well then great things come to pass for you and countless other like these beautiful trees right here in the back of my car okay they're 30 foot tall now 30 foot tall massive pine trees uh these huge sergeant cherries right here all these trees on the windrow the massive ones I, i've Ed, edward scissored hand them multiple times over the years but all the pine trees that you see down here are all ones that I planted that I bought here in the back of my car or my truck is seedlings. Now they're huge. So the seeds that you plant, whether they're positive or negative, will bear fruit. And bad seeds cannot bear good fruit. By that I mean do positive stuff. Focus on good things. I'm 57 years old. I can still bang out 70 push-ups or, or 30 pull-ups. I can ride motorcycles all the time. Well, for the last 31 years, what I've done is I've gone to the gym four or five times a week and I eat right. I watch what I eat and I exercise. So not polluting your body is huge, but you also have to take care of it. The body's your temple. Physically, mentally, spiritually, take care of yourself. That's the most important thing. And set big goals. It, maybe your goal isn't to have a, a Volvo semi hauling a 45-foot full-timer's rig like I have right here. I'm going to live in this thing this winter for three months as we travel probably first to California to meet with the executives of the KTM Gas Gas Group when they open their, their, their new headquarters. So this was a dream of mine that I had. I went to school and I got my CDL so I could drive this semi and, and haul this big rig. And I wanted to get a, a race team hauler. So everything you see was, was a goal. And if you're doing the right thing and working your ass off like I do, you might be smarter than me, you might be handsomer than me, you might be richer than me, but you're not going to outwork me. And, and that, if you have that work ethic where you just hustle and keep on focusing and setting your goals, like this pond right here, this took me six months to create this pond. With, with my bulldozer, my bobcat, my backhoe, it's 15 feet deep right off the diving boards over here. This was the goal. We've created a heat, massive, it's a 52-acre estate here. And it's the entire thing except for four or five acres is landscaped. And it took me 10 years. That, that stone wall over there, that, the stone wall is 12 feet tall. That took two weeks to do the last 50 feet of it with three guys. So we're off the grid. We've got full solar power, geothermal heat. 
and AC. All these gently rolling hills here were created with my bulldozer from the dirt that came out of the pond. So, so it wasn't the lighted motocross track out there. See the light poles out there? I don't know if you can pick them up, but... And the hills on the track, kids used to ride here all the time. But they're all grown up, so... They don't spend too much time here anymore, but they probably will. When they have kids, they'll come back. And uh, where else can you have a private pond to go swimming in? A private motocross track. Those are the lifeguard towers. This is a rock tower. So all of this, I'm showing you this because it was all a figment of my imagination and a goal. And I just kept on focusing and made it happen. And you can do it too. Um, I, I'm, I'm not of super intelligence or above average athletic ability or anything I just I just work hard and set positive goals and don't do destructive things that's and if you want to get to the top of your game whatever that may be that's the way to do it no matter where you are at life today if things aren't going right things have gone down the wrong path if you've been drinking or drugging too much you can stop today and start moving towards your goal. If you're at rock bottom, sometimes it's the best place to be because there's nowhere to go but up. Whether it's divorce or physical ailments or self-induced health problems or mental problems, you can change that in a moment. You can, cha you can change your attitude about it and deal with whatever cards you've been dealt or that you've created and move forward in a positive fashion towards a positive goal and make the best out of whatever time you've got left in this world because we all know no one lives forever and you're going to be dead a long time if you're lucky you got 75 years but tonight's a special night i wasn't particularly inspired but when i got here i was like this kind of sun's gonna set i gotta share with everybody 31 years in a positive direction and you can go pretty damn far you go on 91 south out of hartford connecticut and you keep going and you get on 95 south, you're going to end up in Florida. So if you pick a positive direction and keep going, you'll get there. It might take you longer. You might get a flat tire along the way. You might blow your motor. You might uh, hit a storm. But if you keep on going, you're going to end up in Florida. So set some goals. Grab a piece of paper. Write down where do you want to be a year from now, three years from now, ten years from now. Grab a piece of paper and write down. Right now, grab a piece of paper and write things you like to do the most. For me, I like, I like riding motorcycles. I like going to motorcycle events and I like hanging out with my friends and family doing those things. So if I'm not happy, well, and if there's things that are, that are getting me down, it's, it's probably I haven't been doing enough of that. So find out what it inspires you and be honest with yourself. And, and I also like working out. I love working out and taking care of, taking care of myself, going to the gym minimum minimum four days a week which means more often than not i'm in the gym every day so usually five days a week five out of seven so if you are not happy today we not doing the things that make you happy if you are happy today you probably are i'm doing the things that you like to do with those that you love and no one's told you yet today i love y'all i wish you the best i want to share anything i know about success so that you can achieve your success in life whatever that may mean for you and i thank god every day for the blessings i've been given and for everybody who supported my journey thank you all you know who you are for everybody on my team who made it possible because i can't do it without my team my team's kick ass you got to have a good team surround yourself with good people ask yourself the people in your life today are they helping you reach your goals or are they tearing you down if they're saying negative stuff about your dreams, well, maybe you need new friends. And it could be family members that are tearing you down. Sometimes friendly fire is the worst. But uh, do you, do right, do good, and find God's will for your life. Thank you for listening to me. I love you all, and God bless the United States of America.